this looks very interesting with a lot going on but before we get into what's happening in there talk us through the numbers and letters on the side as obviously anx is the machine model but what do the rest mean so 42 is the bar capacity and s sub yy uh, twin y axis so why would you need all of this going on to make very complex parts as fast as possible and is it all about trying to do complex parts in one go yes yeah you know um if you've got to take the, the the part and put it onto another machine you know fixtures and everything like that come into it so the part you know uh, it might not be as accurate but as you can do everything in one hit it's as accurate as it can get so talk us through inside the machine what is actually going on so um yeah so twin y axis a uh, twin twin turret twin y um both turrets um 12 station all driven um you can have up to four tool two four tools on each station as well um that's pretty it's a it's a pretty involved machine that's a lot of tools to do a lot of work now we were looking earlier and you can do super imposed machining i yep. got that one right didn't i yeah because there's two and i never know which one's which but what is super imposed machining it's it's quite difficult to explain um the best way of doing saying it is like the sub spindle is following a floating datum so once the machine has calculated where the tool is where the datum is that's just the point where you program your zero from um, the machine does it all for you you don't really need to work out that that bit um, the machine makes us look good basically now i like that i like how the machine is making us look good because so you're running the latest fan of control on this and does that make for quite easy programming um so the the like any ISO programming in the background, um, this is how our machines work, but also we use, we call them mode changes or, or um, like the sync codes. Um, and this is what does all the superimpose. So once you've learned these, the superimpose comes really, really simple. And now let's talk about size of material, because obviously you can do up to 42, but with Citizen's other machines, can you remove the, remove the guide bush to make things bigger? And what's the biggest and again, the smallest parts you've seen done on these machines. So the 42, so it's, it's 42 mil through spindle, so you can only put 40 mil, 42 mil bar through it. Probably be able to squeeze a little bit more, but um, I haven't really seen tiny parts done on these, but I guess you can. You can put a five, five inch chuck on these, put hind bucks on these. Um, so it's quite a versatile machine. Yeah, then. yeah, exactly. So whatever you could, want to put on it you could probably put on it and what sort of quantities would people be looking at because obviously i know sliders have the thing in the background where people think you need 10,000 15,000 parts to to run a slider but we we talked before how quick and easy a slider is now to set up like you don't need them quantities anymore no. is it the same with the miano it's exactly the same so you could use this as a jobber you know if you just want one turret working on the main spindle with a chuck in it that's what you could do or you could have both uh, spindle, both turrets working on, on the main spindle, or you can do the high volume stuff as well. So you can use it either end of the spectrum. And I think it's great when you see this running and you've got three tools in court, it is, it's one of the most amazing sites you will see. But that also must have big advantages for a customer as in time savings on cycles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, if you get three tools in cut, you're only paying for one of the, the tools cutting at that point, aren't you? You've got two, two more for free, so. It's always a win-win for the customer. Yeah, exactly. And I think one thing we do, we do need to mention is you get a lot of machine here for quite a small pro footprint as yeah, well. Yeah, Citizen's really big on keeping the footprint as small as possible so it can go into any shop. A lot of the B&A range, they will, the footprint hasn't increased, but the capabilities increase. So it can just swap straight in and out in the same footprint. Now, obviously these are predominantly used for batch work. So what sort of automation do you get with a machine like this? Um, bar feed, best way, cheapest form of automation. We have a uh, robot unloader as well, which is an optional extra. It'd be endless. We could put gantries on it. We could put robots on it. Whatever you want, we'd build a bespoke solution for you. 